all right so let's just do the read up for this the instagram caption we're gonna swipe through the pictures we're gonna do some theory crafting and we're gonna have some discussion with this figure because this is a very it was unexpected but kind of a ugh. all right anyways sh figure art super saiyan god super saiyan vegeta unwavering saiyan pride scheduled for release september 2024 pre-orders open april 5th so from what i understand this is going to be a general release but let's swipe through the pictures real quick brand new head sculpt um i think the hair sculpt is good it's the best vegeta one that tamashi has done at least yet and i don't think it'll stay the best for long in my opinion i think by the time next year rolls around we'll definitely have some you know like more exciting stuff but either way Final Fat Flash pose, interesting. And this kick pose in particular is very interesting. I wonder if they're hinting at a potential Jiren reissue. And I'll put a screenshot or a gif of exactly where this kick is from on the screen at some point. But now that we're done with the stuff on Instagram, as usual, we go to the websites to see if we could get some additional information. And then we're gonna theory craft and we're gonna have some discussion to do. So now we on the Tamashi Nation's website to see if we can get any additional information, right? Okay, so series Dragon Ball Super price, okay? The price is 39,3960 yen. And that's including the tax, excluding it's 3,600 yen. It's a retail product, so what does that mean? As I was saying before, basically it's a general release. If it wasn't a general release, then, like, for example, with the uh, GT Trunks, it, said, it would say Tamashi Web Shot Exclusive or something to that effect. So we know this will be one of the releases, like, especially over here in the West and the States. This will be a release that you'll probably be able to find at Target or something like that, okay? So, that's a good thing. Especially for what this is supposed to be, like, this is, like, <laughs> we've seen this mold a thousand times. And I'm going to get into why i think we're seeing this mold so much especially of recent it feels like we keep on seeing this 2.0 vegeta mold like so many like we've seen it so many times but it's giving us the same information as instagram whatever now it says no the information listed is uh the release information for japan there is no technical release information for the state yet but it'll probably be coming within the coming days um let's get a 360 review like we've seen like they've seen this mold time and time again um nothing new here you get to see the side profile how the hair looks from the side um yeah it's, it's really just what after so, like all right we're gonna get into it in a little bit but i want to check one more site and then we're gonna get into the meat and potatoes so I was going to go to the official Dragon Ball website to see if they had any info on the figure and they, didn't, they had info on the figure but nothing was new. But this is interesting, head part and boot parts are newly sculpted. So the boot part being newly sculpted, uh, does that mean that the articulation is better? Somehow I'm doubtful. <laughs> Somehow I'm doubtful but we'll see when we get the figure in hand, right? That being said, let's get into the discussion. So, my overall thoughts on this, and then we're going to get into some discussion territory. To me, this is the ultimate a day late <laughs> example of a day late and a dollar short, at least for me. Because this post has 18k likes, 18 over 18,000 likes. So it's clear that a lot of people don't feel that way. However, this feels like something that should have been dropped, what? Are we still doing the Goku Black Saga? and it's now dropping seemingly out of nowhere um but it seemed to be kind of retreading some tournament of power releases and i think the reason why and we're going to get into some discussion now is because a lot of those tournament of power figures with the exception of maybe jiren because jiren looks like he uses a bit more 3.0 tech to, in my opinion but a lot of those uh, tournament of power figures are on 2.0 molds. And here's what the thing is. I think they're trying to phase out the 2.0 mold. That's why we keep on getting figures like, for example, this is the second figure to get 
New head sculpt on an old mode. First figure being Ultra Instinct Goku, right? Ultra Instinct Goku. You know, he had the Toro Taro art style head, but we had the old mode. Now, the reason why that worked is because it had been a long time since we even got an Ultra Instinct. Like, Ultra Instinct had never gotten a reissue. And we're even going to get into that as more proof to my point, but it had never got a reissue. This was the first reissue in basically ever until recently where they announced that the original Ultra Instinct Goku that's based off of the an anime look is also getting a reissue as a general release. Now, <laughs> this is what I mean by retreading some of the Tournament of Power stuff and also, funny enough, I got the uh, picture on the screen and as I said earlier, this I think is a hint at a potential Jiren reissue if you're interested in that because I'm sure the price has gone up on him. But they're trying to get the last bit of juice out of the 2.0 mold. And we've seen it specifically with, for example, that Warrior Awakening Goku, right? They ended up giving us a repainted version for the World Tour uh, exclusive and what, what was that? It feels like eons ago, but it was like, wasn't that long ago. Last year, 2023. They gave us a repainted version only to give us a way better version at a cheaper price point. And the legendary Super Saiyan Goku. It is the same exact Goku. Literally, what? Maybe a chapter or an episode later where his shirt's completely torn off? Why even why even bother selling us that Goku, right? Because they're trying to get the last bit of juice out of this 2.0 mold. That's why they are going so hard with it. Before they start giving us probably these same exact characters on updated molds, and we're gonna be like, bruh. Because they literally, we literally seen them do it with the legendary Super Saiyan Goku. It was like, alright, at least we got, you know, Namek Saga Goku. And then literally, what, month, some, a couple months later? Three or four months later? Legendary Super Saiyan Goku. What? If that was the case, a lot of people was like, yo. If that was the case, I wouldn't even bother getting that World Tour exclusive version. So, it's a... <laughs> It's a hot mess over at Tamashi. Like from a business standpoint, I get it. You plan to phase the 2.0 mold out and pretty much going forward, it's probably gonna be a lot more 3.0 era stuff or 3.5, whatever number you wanna label it. At this point, I don't think it's really that important because especially in a 3.0 era, it seems the era seems to be the era of experimentation. And with that, they seem to always be making these minor tweaks or just seeing what works or just doing whatever, you know? But that being said, that's all I got to say about this figure. Um, it's at a nice price point, but I can't see him. I can't see him having made it any more expensive. Otherwise, people would have been like, "Are you serious?" But with that being said, this has been Bombastic Plastic. Stay fantastic, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for the support. Peace.